coming to you live on location in wonderful Fort Myers, Florida, and studios in Las Vegas. It's creating your business in the bubble. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now, and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling out. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. You have reached the Wandering Without Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. It's episode 129, and you can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, we have been anxiously watching the path of now Hurricane Isaias out in the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like... We're going to be spared the, uh, the wrath or the major wrath of the storm. So very exciting. It's only a cat one right now. They think it's going to go to a cat two over the next day or so. so unpredictable then... though, Matt. As I know. Hey, I'm know. Not getting, hey, I'm not getting cocky about it. We're prepared. We, uh, we, uh, we, we watered up yesterday. So we have a lot of water. So. so he's got his hurricane supplies. If you've been listening to our podcast, you know, Matt and I back in 2017, I believe it was, we're both in Florida. Yep. Hunkered down for Irma. Right, which, by the way, that was an eye storm that just kind of it's like got me this morning. Storm. I thought to myself, now is that a sign or that's, is that uh, not a sign? But you know what? That happened on September 10th of uh, 2017. And so. Matt, thank you for that pronunciation. As I was chatting pre-show with Matt, I'm like, no one that I have watched on TV reporting this has mentioned the name, or I keep missing it, because I don't think anybody knows how to pronounce that name. Well, I'll tell you down here when you're watching Wink, the Weather Authority, uh, they, uh, everybody is like Isaias, Isaias, every other word is Isaias. Isaias, really, Isaias. Really okay, funny. so now I've got Anyway, it. but just Isaias. so you know, that is the, uh, the actual meaning of that is God is my salvation. So interesting uh, name for a uh, hurricane, right? With that uh, uh, meaning of the name too. So anyway, so hopefully and, and that will all blow on by. Right on, and before we jump into today's topic, um, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, I am sporting my Vegas Golden Knights shirt because at four plus months later, oh my gosh, all the local fans of Golden Knights and even it was a little exhibition game with the Arizona Coyotes and we did win. Quite wonderful. It was back. It was so nice to be back in the Twitter sphere of this great Twitter feed that the Vegas Golden Knights have. And it was brilliant. It was so fun. I was watching, I was listening, I was watching Twitter feed. Uh, posting things and it was a lot of fun even though and I'm telling you I think it's brilliant the way uh, hockey NHL has uh, done the used graphics and CGI and all that good stuff with crowd noise so it just makes you feel like it's not completely weird that is nobody sitting in the in the side of the arenas but it's now I am hesitant to say one more thing about uh, hockey and uh, COVID-19 because last week we completely jinxed Major League Baseball yes, by did. by talking about it so let's since just, last week it's gotten yeah. worse it's not just the Marlins now we have somebody else I think it's right. where the Marlins were the Phillies have an outbreak where they yeah. had traveled so it's I'm Florida kind of, Florida kind of, is yeah. causing Ex problems well except for not for the NBA where they have zero uh, cases in uh -huh. the bubble there at Walt Disney World. So anyway, and, and, and I said good. let's not. Let's not oh, uh, uh, good point, but they're locking them down there. Oh, they're, they're completely locked, locked down, down in there. Completely and that's locked down. Doing. They are in the bubble, huh? And that is me. why we. Okay, so anyway, we were talking to our good friend David Squire yesterday, who was doing some coaching, and he was saying he he's the inspiration for this um, episode today because it's one of his clients, coaching clients at real estate agent, was just talking about how. Uh, they he, he kept mentioning like you're in this bubble now and and the mindset of the agent which I think is everyone's mind a lot of people's mindset which is why I wanted to talk about it today is that I can't go do focusing on the wrong things I can't go right. do the things I used to do like open houses and this and that and not seeing the opportunities where they're at so he shared some things with me that I wanted to be able to share uh, some scripts and dialogue so let's just jump in and we'll just talk uh, very quickly about a few things that um, to help you change your mindset around there's plenty of business. Now, just speaking from myself and my personal experience with my team, I have uh, uh, Cosmo Morabi and I have a team. We're the O'Brien Morabi team of eight now, eight people, including two of us. And everyone on the team has business. Even me, I'm taking a listing. Um, awesome. 
Uh, as a matter of fact, Nick's to, took the listing for today and we're getting all the marketing done for it next week. There is business out there. So, that, so I have to say everything starts with your mindset. So if you are like uh, agents that are saying things like, I can't get any business because I can't do it the way I used to do it because I can't do an open house or I can't do this or I can't do that. That, that right there, you're defeated. You might as well just go figure out something else to do for a living. Sure. You have to pivot. We've been talking about this since March. Right. On the podcast, we 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 did the 30 day challenge. We got everybody to immediately pivot. And there is business no matter what is happening. I mean, let's look at the positives in our real estate industry right now. We're unless you're listening and you're in a state that is that is not that is a little bit more locked down and you can't do as much. That's not many states right now. No, we we have been able to do business uh, here in in uh, Nevada, in California, even in Florida. I have clients in Florida, clients all sure. over the country. So the people that are doing well are realizing here's where the business is. People are selling their houses. Interest rates are below 3%. This is what's fueling it. There's not enough inventory. I have a, a, a previous client who's reconnecting with me up in Connecticut right now who cannot, he, he's so busy. He needs to get some more help with getting people on his team because he's in Connecticut. People are moving out of New York. As soon as they put something on the market, it's selling. Yeah. This is the case in a lot of places. So listings are where you need to focus. Listings, 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 new homes are selling quickly to uh, and so much so that unfortunately out here, some of the new home, the new home builders become, they're very much about their bottom line and profit like most businesses. So they love realtors when they can't sell their houses and then they <clears throat> cut the commissions. And so we've already started to see some builders out here say, oh, we're not going to pay a, a 3% co-op or 2%. We're going to a flat fee because they are selling houses left and right. So those are two specific areas that you can you could be figuring out how to get some business in. So you have to change your mindset, number one. And then the next thing that I want to say is always, 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 I don't know how many times I've talked about it on this podcast already, uh, forever. It's your database. First and foremost, you start with your sphere of influence, the people that you know. And everyone listening, I just want you to stop and think for a moment and you just answer to yourself or wherever you are as you listen to this have you really connected with everybody that you know because you know what the answer for me is i haven't no i preach it i have not talked to everybody i could possibly talk to just to check in and see how their experience through covid 19 has been to let them know what i can do how i've pivoted in my team and i have a personal story to tell people because i've i've left from you know, being an operations officer in a company that we started to back doing, um, just focusing on my team, simplifying my life with that and our coaching company. And I have a story to tell. So the people that know me don't know I'm doing this. You know why? Because I haven't told them. Right. How many people do you have in your database right now that if you checked in with it, as soon as I started this process with the first three or four people, I got business. So I just right there, I have people on my team still, I'm saying, have you done it? Everybody just, I don't know why we all like don't get around to that, but that is your gold mine. That's where we could stop the podcast right now. Yeah. And honest to goodness, that is all you need to do for the next month. Okay? Because honestly, don't you think that real estate is on just about every homeowner's mind right Absolutely. now? So that's the thing you, that, that why that, what you're talking about there is so key because if you're just, you connect because they're not really thinking necessarily about who they're thinking about themselves at this point. Now so. I will share some of David's um, stuff that he shared with me that he shared with his clients. And he used this statement that I love every interaction with someone is an opportunity right now, yeah. every interaction. So he was helping reframe his client's mindset that said, I can't do the things I normally do to get business. And, and she wasn't thinking about when she's in the store uh, checking out. So Tina on our team um, ha goes to the same grocery stores. It's a Smith's out here, which is a Ralph's out in California, California which is probably, oh, it's a Kroger on your side of the world. That's public. The, yep. Uh, Kroger is uh, uh, owns the Smiths and the Ralphs, um, so or I don't know who the parent company is, but anyway, she has she talks to everyone, and this is one of her ABCs: always be connecting. And so she is currently working with a young couple, and it's the checkout girl that she always talks to in the Smiths that she always goes to. She's actively working with those people right now because she always talks about real estate. And this is the script that we're talking about. I have a couple of script ideas here that David and I were uh, batting around yesterday. And one of them is 
you'd be great in my real estate. You'd be great in my business. Okay. Yeah. You know, so you're checking out and you have somebody who's really got great customer service or it could be anywhere, anywhere. You, you're, are you still going to a restaurant? What businesses are you frequenting? Are you talking to people? And I'm not saying be obnoxious and say, Hey, here's my card. I'm a real estate agent. You have a conversation with people. So there's a couple starters here. One is, you know what, Matt, you would be great in my business. Now what's, what is Matt going to say? What business are you in? Boom. I own a real estate business. I wow. have a real estate business. Remember, where even though you don't physically own it, unless you're the owner listening to this, you still own a right. real estate business. You're just smart enough to hang it into a brokerage that supports you, okay? And don't you think almost everyone's going to say, yeah, you know, I've always thought about getting into real estate because uh -huh. everyone I've ever talked to always says that. You yeah, know? Or, like, and so, all... so that's one way to talk to people about yeah. that. But it's also, well, yes, I thought about it. But then it leads to the conversation about, well, this is what I do. If you or someone you know that might be interested, you know, we've pivoted our business. I'm on this team. Team. We use all the latest and greatest, you know, let me just give you my information or let me, you know, people don't even hardly hand out business cards. Let me just, here's my business card or let me send you my information. Um, so your hair nail salon, are you back getting, are you getting a haircut? Matt has not, however, visited a hair salon since he's been away. Um, he's he's going, going for the man bun. He is going for the, he practically has the man bun going on <laughs> right now. Um, so any businesses you go to, so try that you'd be great in my business. Um, I own a real estate business or somebody asks what you do for a living. Um, you know, you can talk about the client. I, I have a, a script about, you know, I have this great client appreciation program. One of the things my team does that our clients love is that we send a monthly newsletter, a monthly hyper local newsletter, just to, uh, to support local businesses, let you know what's going on in the market. I'd love to be able to add you to that. No, you know, even if you're not interested in buying or selling now, everyone likes to look at real estate or know what's happening. Um, and so if, if you get into longer conversations with people, then you share the idea that you can get them on your mailing list, number one. And then that's why I'm always talking about those must have tools. You have to have on your phone the ability to share a home search app right. uh, like our we use KB Core on our team and we can just immediately send a link to someone, email to, uh, a text to someone where, and have them download the app. You should have an app. You should have uh, an IDX website. You have to have your CRM. But the tools that you can share with people, um, we have tools for a new home website, which is through a uh, new home source professional that most realtors have access to around the country. We have our home search app to get them off of Zillow or Redfin or wherever else they are. And you have something like ePropertyWatch Watch if they own a home to get them on a monthly report to tell them what's going on in their neighborhood. This is what people want to know. That's why they go to Zillow. They're interested in what happened that house down the street. What's it listed for? They don't they don't call you. They go to Zillow. So you have to teach them to, that you have tools for that. Right. So that right there is all you need. The tools in your toolkit to be able to share a couple scripts with, you'd be great in my business if they're a great customer service or having a conversation where you talk about owning a real estate business, um, having a client appreciation program, uh, tools to share, and a monthly local newsletter that just gives you updates on the market, what's happening. Um, there you go. That's all you got to do. And of course your database. So, and by the way, those are the same things you share with your people in your database. Sure. All right. So there is business, every interaction. That's what I want to walk, have you walk away with today. Every interaction that you have online on a zoom in the bank, you just have to be more friendly and, and make a friend that that's, right. that's, that's, that's basic. That's real estate sales 101, by the sure. way. And I just think now more than ever is the opportunity you have to kind of, you have limited interactions, but every one of those could be gold if you're brave enough to have a conversation with someone and start a conversation and not be a secret agent. So anyway, that was the, um, that was the, in, you know, the inspiration in talking to him yesterday and, and to kind of close up today on our kind of shorter episode, Matt Emerson, we have been super busy. We've been teasing you here for the past weeks about the relaunch of WBNL coaching. And we are really getting super close to it. I, I would project that by mid August. Oh, easy. We'll easily be able to uh, uh, send you to the new WBNL coaching.com right now. If you try to go to that, it's not going to take you anywhere because we're putting the finishing touches on the new platform. We are totally loving this platform. We have been on yeah. WordPress for years. I was an old WordPress user and, and honestly, um, we're using Kajabi. So those of you that if you do any Kajabi. kind of on Kajabi, if you go, if you guys are doing any kind of online training through any, you know, probably 80% of the chances are you're on Kajabi or you'll recognize it. Super clean, easy to use, super, super fast. fast. 
the da- yeah, for people that have our <laughs> materials, they're like, why does it take so long? To, you know, yes. we're just, that's why we've been working on a solution. Um, our downloads, plus we've been updating the material. I'm so jazzed. I've been uh, working on updating it. David Squire, who's going to be working with us at WBNL Coaching uh, as a trainer and coach, we've already recorded a new course called Agent Referral Network that'll be out in that launch date. And we're about to work on a new program called Run Your Business as a Business, RIBAB, which is the basis of how David and I coach, which is already throughout all of our core training connecting your real estate business. I've just updated the real estate social media. Our signature team builder program is getting uh, my my uh, proofing today. And we have a course on how to hire an assistant. So much more. Plus yeah, agent, agent referral network. Yep. Plus one-on-one coaching opportunities, new packages for that. Um, David and I both have some openings for that. Uh, very, we're limited and but we are taking on some clients and then we're going to launch we'll we'll details will happen mid-august a a very affordable group coaching program called elevate which will help you run your business as a business in today's world using all the latest technology with this whole theme of being people first taking care of your clients and their needs coupled with as we're dealing with it covid safety risk issues for every client's difference you have to really understand your client and couple that up with the right technology to stand out. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a great opportunity for people to uh, to network and mastermind with uh, people from across the country too. On you know what's working for them and what's not working. So is that, uh, you know we we barely did the marketing on that thirty day because it happened so quick. Thirty right, day work from home challenge, and we started that uh, the last two days of March, and it was the whole work from home challenge for thirty days, and we definitely got some interest just from reaching out to our dad. Yeah. Absolutely. So we will be doing some massive marketing on that because of that point you're making. It'll be super affordable. We're talking less than 100 bucks a month right. to be able to have two live coaching uh, group coaching sessions and Zooms with David and I and Matt and and then ongoing and access to our training portal and so forth. So we're yeah, really and as we as that. yeah, and as we continue to be separated, because I think you know with the you know with the way it's been looking right now, and we're heading into fall, you know, uh, it looks like this is going to be going on for a little while. So being able to interact with other people in your own you know in your uh, industry is going to be really crucial, I think, to uh, maintaining what's going on in the the business right now, as long you know as well as you know just um, staying on you know on top of the game. So. It's going to be a very good program. I'm excited to launch that. So, Matt, a couple more on remote uh, podcast, it seems like, and then probably heading back. Probably a couple more and then back to California. I cannot wait. All right. Well, that is what we have for you today, folks. Be, be safe. Be smart. Keep your, you know, keep focused on the positives. And there are positives. Is Don't go down the rabbit hole of focusing on the negatives because that is just a no-win situation. (laughs) That is correct. And then as always, everybody, remember, uh, get up, get out, and be forever wandering, but not lost. See you next week. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube.